Hey guys, what's going on? Tim Pese, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a really cool, uh, like, color correction for a poster, for like a football poster. Um, I've already done one. And I'll show you a picture on the screen right now. This is something what uh, we'll be making it look like. You know, like the black and white, shiny. It just looks really cool. This effect, and some people have been asking me for make to make a tutorial on how to do these type of techniques and uh, today I'll be showing you how to do it uh, so first of all you need to get a picture um, I've done the background already it's just smoke it's not that hard I've got some stock smoke stocks in my GFX pack 1.2k GFX pack so check that out and uh, I'll probably put it in the description so uh, yeah you can download that and it's got smoke uh, things and if you don't want to do that you can just look on the internet and search smoke stocks and yeah, and then just make a cool background. It's not too hard, but um, yeah, you gotta get yourself a, a football player. So I cho chosen Paul Pogba, like in the example. And um, I'll probably speed this up. I'm just gonna go around it all. So I'll get back to you in a second. Suffocating, I'm waiting and always hesitating. Kryptonite desires set my heart afire. Right, guys, so we're back. We've done the uh, cutting now, which is probably the most boring part. Like, I kind of rushed my, so it's not the best. Like, it's, uh, but obviously, if you're doing it, then uh, you probably take more time doing it. But, um, so first of all, uh, once you've cut it out, we're just going to add some colour corrections. So we're going to go to brightness and contrast, which is over here on the right side, or you can go down to the bottom and click this, and then you've got all the different things. Brightness contrast is there. So brightness contrast, you want to increase it up to about 25. And then contrast, you want to increase that up as well to about 15. Like so. And you want to make sure it's above both of it. Like I've got the ball as well, I'm just going to group that to get group them together, so boom. So once you've done that, you've got the brightness and contrast, just it makes it a bit brighter. Then you want to go to curves, and you want to move this bottom part across, and you want to, a little bit, and you want to click in the middle here, and then bring it up a little bit. Like so. And then once you've done that, go over to black and white. And so we're black and white, that's the kind of effects that we're going for right here. And you're going to move the red across. But you can just play around with this really, it depends what colours you've actually got. But for this, um, this is what I'm going to do. Probably make, yeah I want to go for a darker effect. That don't really do much, yeah. Yeah I'll make this shirt darker. The blues here, yeah, because it's got he's got a blue shirt on so. I kind of want to make that a bit darker. So once you've done that, go over to exposure, increase the exposure to around, let's say 44, and then increase the offset to 41, not point not not 41, and then increase the gamma correction to, let's say, uh, 0.85, 0 0.86, something like that. And then group all them color corrections together, and you can kind of see the difference. It looks looks like it's coming together very well, like so. But once you've done that, you should. Uh, one sec. Um, you want to because you've got smoke. You want to drag the player below the smoke. Um, like so. um, in fact no don't bring it below the smoke we'll just do this instead 
you want to get the eraser tool and make sure it's on zero hardness and bring down the opacity to around 40 and then you want to make it look like a smoke surrounding him so say for under the ball it won't just look like a flat there so you like rub away a bit of it just keep clicking in fact I'll bring it up a little bit 60 so it kind of looks like it's surrounded by smoke and then the same for the foot See what I mean? Like the smoke kind of looks like it's surrounding it now. And then over here, his foot's like gone back a bit. So it might be surrounded by smoke there because it might be in the smoke. So I'll kind of rub away bits of that. And uh, maybe over here. Maybe for his hand. maybe up here as well just gives it like an effect like his smoke's kind of surrounding him and it looks really cool All right, and then we'll go add some more colour corrections we'll do this, uh, add some more brightness and contrast and all that kind of stuff just to intensify it a bit more so we'll go to brightness and contrast increase the brightness to 15 and then bring up the contrast to about 10 like so then you want to go to curves then click over here and bring it a bit to the left and then click down here and bring it a bit to the right it's a subtle change you can see you might not be able to see but it, just, it looks a lot better um, next go to exposure bring up the exposure let's go to 40 then bring up the uh, offset for 0.41 and leave it like that looks very good then go to photo filter and we'll make it like a blue colour looks good and bring it down a bit, make it a bit darker make it darker blue then group it all together, you can see the change boom looks good but yeah, that looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now what we're gonna do is, like in the the example, the the ball was actually on fire. So what we're gonna do for that is we're gonna do this. So get your player. So we've got them there. You want to create a new layer and then go to create clipping mask on the layer. Then you want to go to orange. I want to make it look like it, the, the fires were being reflected onto him. No, you, in fact, no, don't create clipping mask, just, um, just uh, put the layer at the top. And then once you've done that, you want to click on your player, then click on the outside of him. And then go back up to the a uh, layer and then press delete and it should leave um, an orange glow on the player looks very good right, and then once you've done that you can either go on the internet and type in fire stocks or in my pack I've got some as well so just open it up Tempest GFX pack and then let's get rid of that fire Get, which one was it? Uh, I think it was this one here. Yeah, it's this one. Just put this in, make it a bit smaller, and you want to put it over the football. Make, make sure it's the right size. And we'll just rotate it a bit so it looks like this. Boom. Looks good. And then once you've done that, create a new layer, get the orange again, and then you want to add a bit of glow to it, so just click and then colour dodges it yeah colour dodge and then bring down the opacity a bit and then make another layer do the same thing again but a bit more like so 
Uh, I'm just going to scroll through it and see which one looks the best. I think I'm going to stick with light. Uh, stick with lighting, yeah. Cool. It's pretty cool like that, yeah. Like so. Just going to bring up these layers overhead, the uh, text. So you can have a bit of colour. Like so. That's pretty cool. And then finally we're going to add another layer, change the brush to white. Increase it, make sure it's only zero hardness, and then click at the top and then de decrease the, uh, the opacity to 30. And then do the same again, new layer, click at the bottom and decrease it to about 15. And I think finally, you should do one more right in the middle overlay and then decrease it. 20% then you'll be left with something like this it looks pretty cool obviously I've done it very fast there might be other things you can add uh, that for you that you think will look pretty cool um, but yeah this is kind of the overall kind of style that I've gone for if you like the video make sure you hit the like button subscribe and share with your friends see how many people uh, can like this tutorial if you want to see more of these comment below on what you want to see uh, i know some of you want to uh, you want me to do tutorials on how to make certain banners like uh, the battlefield one that i uploaded uh, yesterday i think it'll be yeah it'll be some yeah yesterday because i'll upload this tomorrow um but yeah guys thanks so much for watching the support my channel has been awesome uh, let's try and get to 1.7k as soon as possible and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.